everyone, my name is Freya and welcome to my broom closet. Today I want to talk about simple cleansing methods that you can do in the broom closet. Cleansing a space or an object does not have to include big and fancy elaborate rituals with candles and smudge sticks. They can actually be very simple and very subtle as well. So here is a list of some of the best methods for a broom closet witch. Some of these methods are best suited for cleansing a space or an, just an object or yourself. These methods aren't listed in any particular order, but I will specify in the video whether they are best suited for cleansing a space, an object or yourself. A lot of these methods do not cost any money and you probably have been doing them already. A lot of these methods are great for low energy witchcraft as well, so I hope that at least some of the methods on this list are useful. So the first method I have is physically cleansing. So actually physically cleansing a space is also a great way to spiritually cleanse a space too. This also works for objects and yourself. The great thing about this method is there is scientific backing for it. Scientific studies show that clutter can lead to increased stress levels and other negative side effects. If you want to cleanse something, just make an effort to tidy up, vacuum, wash down surfaces and windowsills before you decide to do some magical work in those areas. It is also a good idea to take a bath or shower before doing a magical ritual. The second method I have for you is very easy and this is to open the windows. Opening windows is a great way to get rid of stagnant energy and refresh the energy in a space. There is also scientific support for this as fresh air can improve cognitive function. It is also essential to open the windows when doing any sort of cleansing or banishing in order to clear out negative energies otherwise these energies just get trapped and all your efforts are for nothing. The third method I have for you is to play music aloud or sing. Playing music and singing are great ways to raise the vibrations of a space and in turn those raised vibrations also cleanse a space. It doesn't matter what music this is, you just have to play any music or sing any song that makes you happy because that is how you raise the vibration. This method can also be used to cleanse objects, for instance you could hold up a crystal and sing to it to cleanse it. The next method I have for you is to dance. Dance rituals have been conducted by shamans for thousands of years is a very simple and easy way to again raise vibrations in a space and in yourself. The next method, and this is a very common method and great for broom closet witches, is meditation. Meditation is a great way to clear your mind and the surrounding space of negative energies. It does not have to take too long either, just 10 deep breaths whilst focusing on something that calms your mind is enough. If you need an excuse to meditate, then you can say that you're practicing mindfulness. Again, there is lots of scientific evidence to say that practicing mindfulness is a great way to improve your mental health and your mental well-being. There are plenty of meditation and mindfulness apps out there like Headspace, Insight Timer, and calm. This next method is very easy for most witches and that is visualization. This is great because no one can see you doing it so it's great for closeted witches. But basically simply imagining your space filled with white light, healing light or something like that is a great way to cleanse and set up a personal shield as well. I do recommend using visualization with another method on this list just to give it some extra power and intent. The next method I have for you is affirmations. An affirmation is basically a phrase 
that you declare out loud or just to yourself that affirms the energy that you are trying to project. So you can simply declare an object or a space to be cleansed. So you could use words that are something like, I bid all energies not in alignment with myself to be gone. This space is cleansed, so not it be. Simple words like that or anything that comes to mind. You don't need to say this aloud, just say it very clearly in your mind if you don't want to say it aloud and seem weird in front of other people. Again, I recommend using this in a combination of some of the other cleansing methods on this list as a backup to another method just to give some extra oomph. This next item I have for you is the first item on this list that actually requires spending some money in some sort of way and this is the use of crystal clusters. Clusters of crystals project very strong cleansing and healing energy. They cleanse surrounding crystals and objects around them so they are very good to use to clean other crystals as well. You can also cleanse the space this way by putting a cluster in each corner of the room. If you don't have any crystal clusters then crystals like citrine, carnelian and selenite are very good and serve the same purpose and they don't ever need to be cleansed because their vibrations are so high and they very rarely ever hold on to any negative energies. So these are great crystals for cleansing other crystals and spaces and objects. The next item on this list is aromatherapy, which I am using right now, as you can see behind me. <laughs> Filling a space with a smell that pleases you is a great way to raise vibration and cleanse it as well. This does not have to be incense sticks if that is too witchy or you have pets or you have asthmatic members of your family. You can just use essential oil diffusers instead like the thing behind me or you can make a cleansing spray like a homemade air freshener which I will link some recipes below for you. Simply pass individual objects through the smoke or mist or you can spray it with your DIY cleansing spray. The next method I have for you is to utilise moon water. Moon water has lovely protective and cleansing energies. You can simply put it in a spray bottle and spray it around a space or spray an object that you wish to cleanse. If you need an excuse to keep a spray bottle or something like that, I really recommend getting some house plants, preferably those that crave moisture like aloe or um, bonsai trees. So not only do these house plants provide a good excuse for having a spray bottle around to water them with, but house plants themselves also provide cleansing, healing and protective energies, especially aloe vera. The next cleansing method I have for you is sigils. Sigils can be quite powerful for a house clearing or banishing as well. You can simply draw sigils on things that you intend to be cleansed or protected. If you want to cleanse a room or a whole house, then you can draw sigils on mirrors, windows, doors, and you can do this with moon or salt water or even just with your finger and visualise them appearing as you draw them. As I said, this method is especially good for protecting the house or getting rid of negative energies, but just make sure that you open the windows so that this negativity has somewhere to go. The last four methods that I have on this list are utilizing the elements. Let's start with the air element. To use the air element to cleanse an object, you can blow on an object to drive away stagnant and residue energy. This is a very popular method for quickly cleansing a tarot deck before you use it. To cleanse yourself, just go outside on a blustery day and feel the wind and the air element flow through you and cleanse you. To use the earth element, the most obvious way is to ground and centre. Grounding involves reconnecting with the earth and allowing any negativity or manipulative magic to drain away from you and into the ground. This is easy to do, just sit outside, perhaps 
beside a favourite tree of yours or on the ground and relinquish your negativity to the earth. You can also do a simple grounding exercise inside or if you live in an apartment. There are many guided meditations you can find on YouTube. To use the fire element in your craft to cleanse yourself, you can stand outside for a few moments and let the sunlight burn off any unpleasantness or any lingering residue just right off you. On colder days, just sit by a window and feel the sun's light and warmth on your skin as it works its fiery protective magic. Finally, the water element is a very easy way to cleanse yourself and spaces. One of the simplest ways is to just take a shower and um, dump your clothes in the laundry and then wash all of that sticky negativity off of yourself. If you are not at home and you quickly need a cleanse, then just wash your hands in cold water as cold water tends to break any psychic links. And as you shake your hands dry, just picture any residue flying harmlessly away. You can also use rain or snow to your advantage. So if you're caught outside on a rainy or snowy day, just imagine the water as it lands on you is cleansing you. You can ask the element of water to wash away any negativity or you could imagine the snow freezing the problems and negativity and then they're getting blown away by the wind. So there you go guys, that was my list of simple and subtle cleansing methods for a broom closet witch. So if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with other broom closet witches because I want to help out as many broom closet witches as possible. If you need to find out any more information about anything I've said in this video or just broom closet witchcraft in general, then please visit the subreddit r slash broom closet witch on reddit. It's got a huge wiki, lots of information and other broom closet witches you can talk to including a link to a discord server. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, thank you so much for watching, please stay safe and I will see you next time.